the first step to this is cutting the onion. You'll need to cut the top and the bottom. I uh, end up using a Vidalia Chop Wizard in order to mince my onion. Uh, the problem is you have to cut it into smaller portions in order to get it on the size of the square. The next step is adding the ingredients. Uh, here I am cutting the cream cheese into smaller cubes so that way it blends better with the imitation crab meat. I'm using imitation crab meat this time because this is actually my first time attempting a crab rangoon. Here I'm cutting the imitation crab meat into smaller cubes for the same reason that I cut the cream cheese into smaller cubes. It's so that way it blends a lot better in the blender. Here's a good example of uh, side view of the blender blending the, just the cream cheese and the crab meat at this time. Later I'll be adding a few more ingredients. They are the onions I just got done mincing as well as some minced garlic that I already had and my favorite seasoning, the Tony Saturies. Now the blending should be done. Uh, it's a nice creamy consistency. Next I'll have to take an egg and mix it in here. The purpose of this egg is to put on the corners of the wonton wraps. It allows it to seal better uh, and prevent it from opening up while it is being deep fried.
after I lay the four wonton wraps out, this is where I take my finger, dip it in the egg, hit the four corners of each wrap, and then put the crab rangoon in the middle and then fold it as you will see. Uh, another way to do this, uh, I ended up doing this much later in the video, is what I took the, instead of hitting four corners with the egg, I put egg on two sides of the wonton wrap uh, <clears throat> in order to make a triangle wonton wrap instead. So I would take the crab rangoon and dip it in the center like I do here, and instead of folding the corners, I end up folding it in half making a triangle. Here is where I'm deep frying them. Uh, it's an overhead view using the GoPro, so that way you can see exactly um, how to lay them out. You don't want them too close, not that it really matters, I guess, because once you dip it down, they just start bouncing off each other. I try to do eight to begin with, um, which with folding it this way, you can do eight. The problem with folding this way, uh, you have more holes in the wonton wrap, so it gives more room for the crab filling to leak out of the wontons as it's deep frying. The triangles, as you will see later, uh, unless you overfill it, um, most will stay closed. The problem with uh, that style, you'll have to flip them more, as you will see later. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is you need to preheat the oil to 350 degrees. This particular deep fryer uses only goes to 356, so it's close enough. And you only have to deep fry for a few minutes before they're done. These actually fry really quick and most of the ingredients uh, don't need to be cooked or should have already been cooked. Here you'll see the triangle version of the crab rangoon wraps as I mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, you can put about six of these in here at a time. Uh, th this particular piece I wanted to show you the difference in how they fry at the same time using the triangle version versus the folded version. After a few minutes, again, you have to flip these. The triangles you have to flip uh, so that way it'll have a e more even cook. Uh, the other ones that are more like a square, you just kind of bounce them around a little bit. Uh, unnecessary, but if you want a more even cook, it makes things simpler. 
I hope this helped. Make sure you like my video and subscribe to my page. Thank you.